What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet, it's Michael here and today we're doing an Is It Worth It video about the blacksmith perk. Now as you may have noticed with our Fallout 4 Worth It videos, we're actually not doing Worth It's about the crafting perks or the weapon damage based perks because they are fairly straightforward. However, there is something about blacksmith that I need to bring to your attention and that is that out of all the crafting perks, it is the lowest priority one and you really need to consider whether you want to get it and if you do get it, how many ranks you're going to get. So obviously, I think it goes without saying that if you are not a melee or an unarmed character, do not get this perk. If you are a melee or unarmed character and you're using sneak, I'd even say you don't need to get this perk, simply because of sneak attack multipliers, because you can just find things like Pikmin's blade, and simply because you can find essentially most of the weapons you're going to want. One thing that I suggest you do need this perk for is if you're playing a power armor character who's going to be using unarmed. But anyway, if you're playing a pretty standard melee tanky kind of character, the thing about Blacksmith is you can actually find most of the melee weapons you want in this game. So what I would suggest to you is looking up what weapon you want and looking up whether you can buy it or find it, and then looking up whether or not you need Blacksmith and how many ranks. For example, great weapons like Krem's Tooth can be found, General Chow's Revenge can be bought, Pikmin's Blade, as I said, can be found. Things like the Stunning Super Sledge can also be bought or found, even though to make it, you would need a high blacksmith rank. And for punching characters, Power Fists can be found, and so can puncturing Power Fists like the Furious Fist, which you can get from Swan's Pond. Blacksmith is also, of course, a convenient perk. If you don't want to go and look up all the weapons in the game and you're just playing the game for the first time or you want to go through it blindly, maybe get Blacksmith because it just gives you the convenience of getting whatever weapon you want in the game. Keeping in mind that you do need science for some of the best Blacksmith melee weapon upgrades. The reason this is different from things like Gun Nut is because guns have such a big variety of customization options on them, whereas if you get a melee weapon or a punching weapon, it tends to just have like three different variants or something like that. Obviously, early on, Blacksmith is nice because you can get things like a rolling pin and cover it in like all kinds of blades, and you can make a lot of wacky, funny kind of weapons that are effective early on, but later on in the game, the three perk point investments it would take to get all the ranks if you do that aren't really worth it if you just end up using a legendary weapon you found like Krem's Tooth. I think one of the best weapons in the game that you need science and the third rank of blacksmith for is actually the Chinese officer's sword to get the electrified serrated blade. I've used this before and it is absolutely beast, so if you want this, I would suggest getting the blacksmith perk. The Rockfield Slugger is another great weapon that you can buy for a melee character, and if you want to upgrade this, you don't need all the ranks of blacksmith. For unarmed characters especially, there's also things like the Deathclaw Gauntlet, aside from the Power Fist, that are a really great weapon to have, and you can upgrade this without any blacksmith perk needed. You can get the extra claw modification, which will give you a chance to disarm and give you better damage, and you don't even need blacksmith for this. You simply need the right components. And that's basically it, guys. As I said, the main focus of this video was just to warn you guys not to run into Fallout 4 with a melee or unarmed character and just get all the blacksmith ranks because you think you need them all. Obviously, Obviously, there are things that need Blacksmith Rank 3, like certain Ripper modifications and the Shish Kebab, but other than that and a few extras, just make sure you do your research. It's been Michael with another Is It Worth It video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did enjoy it, be sure to subscribe and like the video. If you hated this video, dislike it, share it around with your friends if you think it was worthy, and follow us on Snapchat to see our Fallout 4 builds before anyone else.